Can you tell me about human trafficking cases in the DOD? Trafficking in persons is a crime in the United States and in many other countries. The Department of Defense also prohibits trafficking in persons. The DOD investigates human trafficking incidents that are reported by service members, civilian employees, contractors, and others. In 2016 alone, there were 72 cases reported of alleged sex or labor trafficking within the DOD, both inside and outside the United States. In these allegations, DOD members were involved as traffickers, as buyers, and as victims. There were reports involving DOD contractors and reports involving the dependent children of service members. Human trafficking is a problem in the DOD and requires all of us to prevent its occurrence and protect those it victimizes. How does human trafficking affect According to the U.S. Department of Justice, the federal government has investigated and prosecuted over 1,200 human trafficking cases in the U.S. since 2000. Military children in distress may be prime targets for traffickers online, at schools, or in neighborhoods. Traffickers have moved to sophisticated business models involving new technologies, including smartphones, social media, and specialized apps. In addition, bars, massage parlors, and other fronts for brothels are often situated near U.S. military bases. Mexico is a country with trafficking, smuggling, and corruption issues, including a well-developed corridor for moving people across the southern border of the U.S. Some cases of trafficking on the northern border between Canada and the U.S. have been reported requiring additional coordination between federal, provincial, and territorial law enforcement officials.
What is human trafficking? I've heard terms like modern slavery, but I'm not sure about the difference. Modern day slavery, trafficking in persons, and human trafficking are all umbrella terms for the act of recruiting, harboring, transporting, providing, or obtaining a person for compelled labor or commercial sex acts through the use of force, fraud, or coercion. Other terms you might hear associated with human trafficking include involuntary servitude, slavery, debt bondage, and forced labor. Any minor under the age of 18 involved in commercial sex is always a victim of human trafficking, regardless of whether force, fraud, or coercion are present. Human trafficking can include, but does not require, movement. People are considered trafficking victims regardless of whether they were born into a state of servitude, were exploited in their hometown, were transported to the exploited situation, had previously consented to work for a trafficker, or participate in a crime as a direct result of being trafficked. In the country where I'm deployed, prostitution is the accepted way for women to make a living. How does this relate to DOD's mission? Although prostitution may be legal in some countries in your region, those involved are often under 18 or compelled to participate through force, fraud, or coercion, making them victims of human trafficking. It is a violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice to solicit prostitution even in countries where it is legal. When a service member is serving time for a UCMJ conviction, he or she is unable to fulfill his or her duties. This poses a threat to the DOD's ability to carry out its mission. It is also important to remember that service members may be targeted by the sex industry. Strip clubs and prostitution rings are often set up around military installations. Partaking in sexual exploitation, such as sex with minors or child pornography, are illegal. If you see signs of human trafficking, you should report it through your chain of command. Does human trafficking occur in the U.S.? Human trafficking occurs both domestically and internationally, including on and around DOD military installations. Traffickers look for victims in vulnerable situations due to child abuse, sexual assault, adverse childhood events, economic hardship, political instability, natural disasters, as well as other causes. Sex trafficking victims are most frequently women and children, and they can be U.S. citizens or foreign nationals. Traffickers also exploit people who are vulnerable because of their age, social, economic, or immigration status. In the U.S., traffickers frequently target runaway or homeless youths who have histories of physical or sexual abuse. What are some key red flags that can alert me to sex trafficking situation? In a potential sexual trafficking situation, young women are often dressed provocatively, minors are engaged in prostitution, or there are other signs that the victim suffered physical abuse. There also may be a person watching over the women attentively. His or her presence may be to threaten, intimidate, or coerce the women from leaving or to take any money paid in exchange for sex acts. As a result, potential victims may be fearful or submissive with an inability to speak to an individual alone. Their answers may even appear to be scripted and rehearsed. Be watchful for signs that may indicate trafficking in persons is taking place and follow the appropriate procedures for handling this type of event. I don't go to strip clubs or sleep with prostitutes, so why do I need to know any of this? Knowing about off-limits establishments is important, and situational awareness is equally important. In areas of conflict, an understanding of the people, cultures, and environment of the region can help you know how these elements affect the mission. This might apply to someone else, but has no relevance to my situation. How does this affect me? Human trafficking can also happen in and around U.S. military installations. 
human trafficking doesn't stop at prostitution or even sex trafficking. Men and women are also trafficked for forced labor, and in some cases on the very subcontracts that support our U.S. military installation operations. Traffickers look for victims in vulnerable situations due to economic hardship, political instability, natural disasters, and other causes. Traffickers also exploit people who are vulnerable because of their age, social, economic, or immigration status. As defined in the Federal Acquisition Regulation, severe forms of trafficking involve the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, patronizing, soliciting, or obtaining of a person for labor or services using force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of forced labor. Human trafficking crimes occurring on U.S. military installations compromise the security of day-to-day -day operations and require us to practice vigilance, not just when deployed, but even on the home front. What should an individual look for in a suspected labor trafficking situation? Some common labor trafficking practices include fraudulent recruiting with promises of well-paying jobs, charging recruiting fees, not providing contracts in the employee's native language, confiscating passports, not paying employees in a timely manner, and providing unsafe or unsanitary living or working conditions. Employees who have fallen victim to such illicit practices may be scared to report issues due to fear of reprisal. If you see signs of distress or indicators that an employee's communication is being limited by the employer, you should report that through your chain of command. In each of the examples, you saw the demand for a service or good fueled human trafficking. While you may not be soliciting prostitutes or going to strip clubs, you may be unknowingly using goods that are products of forced labor or encountering victims during an average day on the installation. Why is it important for me to report it if I suspect human trafficking? Everyone has a role to play in combating human trafficking. Reporting suspected TIP violations makes a difference and in some cases has saved lives. Your everyday decisions impact the culture and climate for mission readiness in the DOD. Not only do you have a responsibility to report any human rights violations you may witness, but it is also your responsibility to avoid establishments that show indicators of trafficking in persons and report these establishments to your chain of command. When you ignore a situation that appears to involve trafficking in persons, you compromise not only the safety of the victims involved, but also the safety of those in your unit and the region as a whole. Nothing can be done to solve a problem that no one knows about. On the other hand, you might be inclined to investigate a situation or to rescue a person. It is not safe to act on your own. 
and it's not your responsibility to investigate a situation. If you suspect trafficking in persons, you should first report the incident through your chain of command and local or command level inspector general's office. You can also call the Department of Defense IG hotline. 